evening, everyone. It is a turning point for Western New York School District. Pretty soon, a school that first opened in 1924 will be closed forever. A two-day closing celebration for Kenmore Middle School began today and wraps up tomorrow night. News Force Dave Graber is in Kenmore with how the school will be celebrated. Kenmore Middle School has stood at this site since 1924. Many in the community consider it the hub. That means that its teachers and students and staff have been the spokes walking these halls for more than 90 years. I love this building. I mean, it, it, it is such a travesty that this is going to be closed. Social studies teacher Paul Davies has become the de facto historian for Kenmore Middle and for good reason. He carries that same sense of pride that most who walk through its doors experience. I have spent many evenings here when almost no one else was here, um, taking pictures of the hallways, taking pictures of the rooms that no one uses anymore. Students feel it too. That's why eighth grader Claire Bursette left her mark on the walls of her art classroom, something she hopes she'll show her own children one day. This is kind of like my second home, so it's sort of like that. So it's like upsetting that it's going to be the last time that something like that can happen, but it sort of feels special because we're the last ones to do it. Kenmore Middle is caught in the middle of a shrinking district with a growing hole in its budget. It's one of three schools that'll shut down as part of the district's consolidation plan. It's bittersweet. It's definitely, we know that it's a time to move on, but we don't want anybody to ever forget um, what this meant. What it meant, Davy said, is a simpler time, and soon, he fears, that legacy will be gone. Living through those years, you might not think of them as being the best times of your life, but when you think back to the best times in your life, this is it. Though middle schoolers will no longer be walking through these doors at Kenmore Middle, the building will be repurposed at least through the end of the 2017 school year. There are still some, however, out in the community who hope this building returns to its original form. And that's a place that not only housed, but created memories for close to a century. Reporting in Kenmore, Dave Graber, News 4.